Hey, what is good, gang, gang? It's your boy Capone. Bring you guys the latest news with NBA 2K19. And today I'm bringing you guys patch three. Yes, patch three of NBA 2K19 already. But before we start this video, be sure to check out the streams at twitch.tv jcapone underscore to watch the grind for 99 this year. The link will be placed down below if you are interested in tuning in. And also, I'll be putting a pop up right about now. But getting back into what we're all here for is the patch notes. I'll be reading this out live for you guys, so if at any moment in time you feel I may pass on something important to you, feel free to pause the video. But without further ado, let's get into it. So for patch 3, I'm probably going to skip general. General will be things, I don't think many people care for it. Nuggets fl court flow is going to be added. Um, if you're a Nintendo Switch player, maybe you'll care a little bit that you can send crew invites and stuff now. Or it should work, be working properly as stated. But I'm more focused on the my career in a pro am. Most people are in the park as well, so we'll kind of just focus on that right now. So for the first thing they said that was addressed is a case where some users would always see double zero on the game clock in specific my career saves. Also stated fixed they fixed an issue where VC payouts were not being paid for all in-game milestones if you hit multiple in-game goals. Fixed an issue where custom jump shots would not get saved when making a change and leaving the my animations menu. That happened to me plenty of times and I know a lot of people had complained about not getting their VC payouts when they went to their agency as well so that's perfect. Um, made a number of improvements to the strikeout game experience inside your my court. I'm not exactly sure what the hell that is but okay. Uh, address the case where the user was unable to scroll the calendar to the left when viewing it from the inside of the locker room. Um, fix the rare crash that could occur as the power rankings overlay was brought onto the screen during my career games. Fix an issue where a my player in, in an active role was unable to earn minutes and make it into the team's rotation. Now I'm a little confused about that only because of the fact I don't understand why somebody would pick a team where they wasn't really wanted um, kind of gives you that inactive role so I I don't know they, they just made it where you I guess you earn more minutes for teams that don't really want you um, but if you yeah guys if a team doesn't want you just pick a team that does you could always trade yourself later just get your value up and then you, you trade yourself to a better team or the team you want to play for um, next we're gonna go into neighborhood uh, face scanning has been enabled while in the neighborhood, which will allow you to update your skin or apply your first one if you skipped it at the time of the creation of your My Career Save, which I think is perfect because face scan has been on and off this year. Um, it's if it works for you, it's crazy. It's probably the best. And but if it doesn't work for you, then you have to apply it a few different times, and it's it's, it's just a headache. Uh, fix the hang that could occur. When attempting to save and exit the crew uniform editor immediately after entering it, I'm glad they fixed the crew issue because there was plenty of issues with that that I had myself faced. Fix an issue where some users would lose functionality after losing a game in any up when entering it as a squad. Fix an issue where the user would sometimes hang with when entering the tattoo shop in the neighborhood. I never had tattoo issues at the shop, so I'm not too familiar on all these but I, I have heard many complaints um, users are no longer able to start dribbling off the check rather than having to pass the ball and during neighborhood 3z3s or 2z2 games which you guys have seen the inbound glitch that's what they're referring to I was actually gonna make a video exposing that but I figured that this patch would actually carry this up so there was really no point for me to do it and many youtubers have already done it so it was, it was whatever uh, d disable still and chuck commands during check ball situations. Basically, they're talking about the guys who've been throwing you uh, when they're checking up the ball in 2z2, 3z3s. Uh, there's always that big guy or lockdown defender who's just throwing you literally out of play, which was crazy. So um, I'm glad they fixed that. Long hairstyles will no longer be seen clipping through hats in the neighborhood. Um, I don't have long hair, so I don't really care for it. Um, I'm guessing they're talking about like the ponytails and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, fix the case where the user's team's basket would not be counted when playing a 3-3 game versus the AI inside your my court. Uh, users in a squad are now able to enter the starting area for red ball, blue ball, dodgeball, 
when the other members of the squad are not present in your instance of the neighborhood. Oh, so you can, uh, I'm guessing, enter as a squad regardless if um, you guys are not in the na same neighborhood. Uh, I haven't really played Red Ball, Blue Ball, so many of you guys are probably more familiar with that. Uh, but me, yeah, I can't say too much on it. Um, fix the case where a win was not being tallied at the conclusion of a crew game in the neighborhood. Yeah, 2K owes me about 10 more wins, and um, yeah, because they gave me my losses, like my one or two losses, but they missed me about 10 wins, so I don't think I'm getting that back. Uh, the user's VC balance will now immediately update after winning VC on the free daily spin will in any up. The displayed balance was slow to update prior. Make sure you log in each day for your free spin. And then Pro-AM, uh, they had addressed cases that would prevent some users from properly matchmaking when they were the last player to join the shoot around. Also fix the match a matchmaking issue where if anyone joins the shoot around after the owner set the game in private or to reset the match to ranked, the other team involved would search for an opponent and be unable to find one. Um, I don't play my team at all, so I'm not going to go too heavy on this one. I don't really want to read it. But I'll read, I'll read it too. Um, okay, address a rare case where a drawn my team card would remain on screen during active gameplay. I seen this on Cash, Nas Cash Nasty's video actually, so it was pretty hilarious. I'm glad they fixed that because oh, if you guys watch Cash Nasty, you'll understand why. Also, fix an issue on PC where some users will hang when attempting to enter freestyle under the single player tab. So. They fixed some things for PC players as well as the little glitch you guys had with the, my the my team card just glitching around while you're playing your your my team game, which was really distracting actually. My league, my GM. I don't really play that, but I will scroll down and um, go slowly so you guys could pause it at any time to read these notes. And I'm guessing, yep, that's the last the end of the notes the past three notes so they fixed plenty of things but i would like to them, for them to fix more such as the servers um private matchmaking i'm not sure if it's i haven't tried it today so i'm not sure if it's working but i'm, I'm glad they had addressed many of these issues and i can't wait to see what comes honestly so we'll see, we'll see what happens in the future um i'm really happy with this nba 2k19 um i've been grinding it out I'm currently like a 92 right now, trying to get 99. I'm streaming it almost every day, so be sure to tune into that, guys. But it's been your boy Capone. I'm out, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.